Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back in again for yet another installment of the Marvel Action Hour. Today, we're going to be checking out the brand new Diamond Select, Marvel Select, the Silver Centurion Iron Man. One of the coolest Iron Man armors that Iron Man has ever armored. In true Diamond Select, Marvel Select fashion, you get the oversized packaging, but there's enough room in the box to stuff it with all kinds of awesome accessories. On the back side of the packaging, the usual. You get nice photos, you get a nice write-up, you get to know all about the Silver Centurion armor, and you can read up on it here. Designed by Yuri Taming and sculpted by Gentle Giant Studios. Thank you very much for that. But I like that they show you how all the effects work with this Iron Man. Here's the barcode. I'll put a link down in the description below if you want to order one for yourself. Now, the Silver Centurion armor, you say. Well, if you're a fan of Iron Man, you've definitely at least seen or heard of this armor. A product of the 80s when Tony Stark stopped being Iron Man for a short period and a return to form to stop Obadiah Stane. He donned his new Silver Centurion armor and wore it for quite a few issues. And it has always been one of those standout armors, and I do remember it from its brief cameos and little toys from Toy Biz for Iron Man, the animated series. And yes, Tony Stark has had quite a few armors over the years. However, the Silver Centurion armor will always be one of those that definitely stands out. So this will be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Diamond Select from their Marvel Select action figure line, the Silver Centurion Iron Man. So now here's everything out of the packaging. It comes with a ton of accessories, and just as a heads up, if you are a Marvel Legends collector, this will not size perfectly with your Marvel Legends collection. This is seven inch scale, so more towards McFarlane NECA. Now, he does come with some extra hands, which are painted beautifully. I will say this though, you're gonna see a lot of paint chippage fleckage. That's kind of the downside of this figure, but it has a gorgeous cherry red to it. He also comes with some blast effects for his feet. This is his jet propulsion effects, really nice orange, a little bit of paint, looks pretty cool. You do get his plasma burst from his chest. It's a little pink energy effect that swaps out with the chest plate. That's beautifully done, I love this effect. And you have his Silver Centurion backpack, which again, has that really nice paint to it, Beautifully done. I love the way that this looks. It was stuck in the back. I really had to pull this thing off, unfortunately. It has two pieces which pop out, and this is where, again, I'll mention the paint, whereas mine were stuck together, and unfortunately when I popped these out, it pulled a little of the paint with it. That, again to reiterate, is something you're going to see more often than not during this video. Is the effect of this backpack piece with the swappable pieces Worthy of an Iron Man Silver Centurion armor? Heck yes. But the paint, yeah, it's the downside of this, unfortunately. You also get some really cool blast effects for the fists. Now, this is kind of a, a different take for an Iron Man effect, which is always welcome, I will say that. Usually you get the same stuff, but it has these little yellow pill-looking shapes amidst the blast which is awesome. You got the red painted hands, but unfortunately when swapping out mine, the effect piece started to become unglued from the hands, so just be careful when swapping them. Now we have seen hands like this before from various companies. It's a repulsor blast effect. It's blue. It's got the red painted hands, so everything is nice. Not much to talk about here in terms of newness, but it's done well. And you do get an unhelmeted Tony Stark head portrait, which I think is really well done. Very 80s. He's got the party in the back, business in the front, haircut. But it's just overall well sculpted, well painted. Kind of has a little bit of a demon in a bottle look to it. A little bit of a shade underneath the eyes. And then finally, you get a really nice alternate silver centurion head portrait with the flap in the front that reveals the goggles, the Iron Man goggles, you could say. And that's a nice touch. Again, something different, something unique. Go easy on the flap at the top. Now, the actual Iron Man figure is awesome. Well, he's awesome from afar. Let me just point this out. The figure is really well done. I love it. As a display piece, you nailed it. 
when you start to deep dive, when you really start to look at it, there are a lot of blemishes on this figure, unfortunately. Little creaks, little cracks in the paint from time to time. This side has a little roughage of the paint where it didn't exactly adhere to the figure. Is it all that noticeable? Not from afar, but when you are looking at it, and you don't want to get a figure like that straight out of the box, you will also see a lot of paint fleckage in the joints. Sort of like how I've said about NECA toys over the years. In fact, my elbows were completely frozen until I heated them up because they were so jammed up with paint, but once I got them moving, all the paint started to scrape out and now it's kind of all bunched up in there. The backside fares better than the front in some cases. He does have peg holes on the bottom and then there's a peg hole on his back for a flight stand. Now, the overall articulation, as I'll say over and over, this is not a Hasbro Marvel Legends. This is a display piece or Marvel Select is more for people that don't collect Marvel Legends and just want some cool Marvel action figures. They're not too hard up about articulation and everything else. They just want swap out parts and pieces, minimal articulation, because that's what you're going to get with Marvel Select, especially in the arms. Unfortunately, because of his shoulder pads, you can't get the arms going forward. If that whole thing rotated, you definitely could, but they're mainly going to be arms that go off to the side, biceps, single jointed, and the wrists rock and move around because I don't mind this type of articulation, but this is not going to be for you Marvel legend collectors out there that really like to see a lot of articulation. The ab crunch works pretty nicely. That's always great to see. He has a little bit of a waist swivel. The legs are kind of hindered kind of sort of like the shoulders and the arms are the backside his butt muscle for lack of a better term kind of gets jammed up in the back of the armor so it kind of kicks off to the side thigh swivel single jointed knees which again just like the elbows i had to heat up because it got caked with paint in the joint so just go easy if anything i'm going to tell you heat up this figure in the joints of the knees and the elbows. The feet work fine, they're nice and solid, they rock. Again, peg holes on the bottom. Overall, I'll tell you, the paint is kind of a mess in some places, but it looks cool, that's the thing. And if you're okay with that, when you activate the backpack on the back, that looks cool. You can get them going up, get them going down. It's just a different look for Iron Man and one that just is so cool on your shelf, even when using the various swap out parts and pieces, the blast effects, I absolutely love that. Again, this Iron Man, even with this head portrait, does something very different. We see a lot of Iron Man's released from time to time. This one definitely stands out for its nostalgic factor, its unique armor, and just the overall coolness of a different Iron Man armor instead of just the usual reds and golds. But again, it's all the blast effects, all the parts and pieces that give this Iron Man powers, that bring this to life on your shelf. He does come with the Diamond Select stand. It's really not gonna do much for you. He's entirely too heavy for this, but you get yourself a nice, solid stand. You get all the effect pieces, get him all decked out, boot thrusters galore, and it just is a really nice piece overall. Again, you're gonna see some problems with the paints, but once you have them set up on your shelf and from afar, you're really not gonna care. So now to talk about Scalature, and for recent Marvel Select figures, they really have been rocking it, especially on the Iron Man Villains Avenue. And the Crimson Dynamo and Titanium Man, man oh man do these stack up well with this figure. You can use them for Marvel Legends as well, but for this Diamond Select Silver Centurion Iron Man, that is awesome to see. And it's the same deal with the Marvel Select Spider-Man and Captain America, the recent Captain America, which I absolutely love. So again, all the minor grievances with the paint, yes, it's not fun, but setting these up on your shelf, whoo, they look good. And to top it all off, if you have the recently released Sue Storm to then complete Marvel's first family for Marvel Select, yes, this Silver Centurion Iron Man will go perfectly with these as well. You're really starting to build up a really incredible collection of seven inch Marvel characters. I'm very happy with this. It's like the old Toy Biz days and I'll modernize. So that's gonna wrap it up for my look at the brand new Diamond Select Marvels Select, the Silver Centurion Iron Man. And not to beat a dead horse, but yes, 
there's quite a few paint problems with mine. However, to overlook those, which I'm not telling you to do so, because that is important. Paint is important, articulation is important, and it all depends on the individual person. However, what I like these for is that they're seven inch scale, they all go together well, and it's a really nice differentiation to the usualness of Marvel Legends. And that's not to say that Marvel Legends hasn't been killing it lately, but these are different and really more for the casual collector than the hardcore. If you want some awesome looking Marvel characters on your shelf, well then look no further than Diamond Select's Marvel Select action figure line. So, you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Silver Centurion Iron Man. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, recently with the Diamond Select Showcase, they teased the next Marvel Select figure will be of the Spider-Man franchise. So let your bets down below on who you think it could be. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.